get destroyed, old phase. It's all about sparking now. OMG UG! What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Beyblade Geeks video. Today we have the first product from Beyblade Burst Sparking or Super King. So this right here is Super Hyperion, our newest addition to the Beyblade Burst Season 5 collection. So this is Hyuga's Beyblade, one of our main characters, and he also have a brother, uh, which is the next release is B160. So this right here is B159, the first release of Super King. Let's take a look at the back of the box. This Beyblade looks pretty intense. It's got this red and gold theme, sort of reminds me of Lord Spriggan. What do you guys think of it? So on the top of the box, we have the two main characters introduced, and then also tells us about the new system. So we're no longer in the GT system anymore. This is now the Super King system. No more GT chip. Exactly, it replaces multiple things. Uh, so it's a brand new system with different ways to play. So with the new system, they come with new names for the parts. We have HY, which is Hyperion, and this is the Sparking chip or the Super King chip. Uh, sort of like the GT chip in a way, but definitely not the same because it doesn't go in GT base. The next part we have here is called the ring. And the ring we have here is S, which stands for Super, so the Super Hyperion. And then we have something called the chassis, which is a new part. And the chassis we have here is 1A, which stands for one attack. So speaking of the chassis, there are two different types of the chassis. One is double chassis and one is a single chassis. The one we get from this Super Hyperion is considered a double chassis. Double chassis are way thicker because there is the unique design plus the disc combined. Whereas a single chassis, you can add in whichever disc you want in there. So I'm guessing that maybe in the future we'll get to see like 2A or like 5A. Just a different numbering system it looks like. Pretty cool. And then for the driver, we have here is called Exceed. Very cool name for a driver. Yeah, so new parts, new system, but the driver still stays the same. Before we get started with this brand new unboxing, make sure you guys are subscribed and click the bell notification icon so you guys don't miss the next video. Wow, look at those colors. Red and gold. This is Super Hyperion. All right, here we have it. This is our new, okay. I wanna call it a layer, but it's actually not called officially the layer. It's a sparking chip and also the ring. So sparking chip and the ring. No teeth system, that's crazy. The teeth is actually located with the chassis. So I'm gonna open that one up. Wow, would you look at that? Look at how thick this Would thing is. Look at that. What the Dude, heck? That chassis is chunky, dog. It's chunky. It's got like that built-in frame system there. Dang, it's so got, thick. You got the bun, you got the burger. That was the patty. Man, we've been referencing a lot of burger stuff lately. Exactly. Craving <laughs> burgers. Alrighty, guys. Let's take a look at all the parts that we get from this Beyblade Super Hyperion. The first piece is like this sparking chip core that we got from the other teasers from other releases previously. And it's a super small piece. You can take it out, you can change the pieces to customize it even further. So I'm guessing that in the future, you would be able to get maybe even heavier ones or different designs. Kind of cool aspect for customization wise. The next thing we have here is the sparking chip itself. So this piece is Hyperion and it is the Hyperion avatar. Plus it's got that sun motif. And these new sparking chip will only work on sparking bays. The ring we have here is called Super. Right off the bat, has pretty large blades. So we can pretty much tell right away that it's an attack type. And it is also right spinning. So it's got the R symbol on top. Moving on to our chassis, which is one attack. So this one is again, the double chassis, which means that you can't take this apart. It is super thick. If you guys look at this, the middle part is pretty much the bulk of the bay now. It's got the four wing design, which is pretty cool. And it's also right spinning, so it's got the R symbol too. What's cool though is that the chassis actually has the teeth now for the entire combination. So you're not going to find the teeth on the chip or the layer anymore. Now moving on to the driver, which basically has uh, no change since the very beginning of Beverly Burst. It's still a regular driver that you can put on any other base. And this one is called Exceed, and it's super tall. You can see there are two raised surfaces. So it's got the free spinning ring which you can spin around. And inside that platform, there is a flat rubber tip. So I can predict this thing is gonna pretty much go super fast around the stadium. 
It's pretty awesome seeing a free spinning part and a rubber tip in one driver. And it's so tall too, it's Very crazy. Unique. So let's put on the stickers and then we'll put it together and also show you how it's done. All right guys, stickers are on and we're ready to assemble the bay. But before we move on with checking out the bay, let's take a look at this customized guide. So inside the package, it came with this flyer and look at that, the shadow, the silhouette of the next Beyblade release. Brave Valkyrie dog. Uh, you spoiled it. I was going to say, sick. can you guys see what the, the silhouette is like a part of? These guys already know. <laughs> They're BBGs, man. Just this like this triangular shape. You can just tell it's Valkyrie. For real though. All right, guys. So that's on the teaser part for next month's release. And then also on the left side, check out the anime because uh, those two are brothers and they are the new main characters. Hyuga and Hikaru. I like Hyuga better, to be honest with you. Really? I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm a Hikaru fan. Yeah. I feel like I'm always on that blue team when it's like red versus blue. Yeah, I'm on yeah. that red team. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And then uh, I feel like this guy, he kind of looks like, Hugo looks like uh, Xander. Yeah, know? a lot of people are thinking that too. Like you get that vibe from him because he smiles the same. His hair is kind of like yeah, a spiky. mountain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right guys, so let's check out the bay and see what the features are. So on the top of the Beyblade is our ring and sparking chip. So what you want to do if you want to customize is you twist the sparking chip and then that comes out like that. So now you just have the ring and the chip. And within the chip itself, you can even customize it further and pull off this piece, which is called the sparking core. So that's how you would take it out. It's a little bit difficult to take out, to be honest with you. Like it doesn't feel like it fits that well inside, or if maybe it fits in too well and it's hard to take out. So like so, now you have just the sparking chip by itself. So when you put it back together, just make sure you align it properly and then push in the sparking chip. And it should have a clicking sound. I'm so not used to this. Let's see, okay, so you go like that and you twist it and there is your ring and chip. Once you have the top piece, then you can attach it to your chassis and just look at the blades. Looks pretty powerful. Yeah, so chunky. It's got the upper attack power. So these two combined, they fit really well. Going to deliver some powerful blow to the opponent. So we have here the exceed driver, click it in, and there we go. The plate is super cool, free spinning, and there are these slits design on there too. Very, very cool. All right, let's see how much our new Sparking Bay weighs. Season five, our first release, Super Hyperion. 61.72, so over 60 grams. But uh, it would've been really cool if all the stock bays when they first got released was like 70 or something like that. It's test spin time. Super Hyperion. Three, two, one, go. Oh, shoot. Oh, this driver. Yo, quick. Oh yeah, but stamina's dying pretty quick. That's true. You can hear the driver, the 360 plate spinning around. That's pretty Definitely cool. Low on stamina though. So basically like when this base like knocked off balance, like it'll ride on that outer plate, I'm assuming, then that free spinning part will help out. But you know what I realized? Since the bays are attached in this new way, when the bay bursts, I think we're just gonna see two parts come apart like that. Oh, true. Yeah, like the chassis might not come out from the ring. Yeah, because that's rare for that piece to actually detach. We'll have to see. Three, two, one. Go. Sick. Yo, this driver is sick. Three, two, two one. Oh, that is quick. Stamina dying. Oh, can't beat Pegasus though, apparently. Did you pick Heaven Pegasus on purpose? To, yo, it's so I could basically revive. Get my clicks back. No, I was saying that because on the box, it's like beating Heaven Pegasus. But clearly it's not. Correct. <laughs> super Hyperion ain't very super, is it? Let's go up against Grand Dragon. Three, two, one, two. Ooh. I couldn't catch up there for a second. All right. 
Super Hyperion, no stamina. Against a stamina type, what's gonna happen? But then again, like for the driver exceed, although it's technically like rubber, it actually has a pretty decent amount of stamina. Ooh. So last is at the end. Nice. But can the new base take on electric drivers? Regalia Genesis. Three, two, one. Activate. <laughs> <laughs> Activate. You guys aren't gonna lose entirely if you have the older bays. Don't give up on your guys' old bays. Still strong. Three, two, one, shoot! Again. Oh, that was a huge hit. Or maybe just throw all your bays away. Okay, guys, let's not do that now. Before Brave Valkyrie comes out, we can still use Slash. Three, Three two, one, one shoot! Oh, oh, almost flew out. That was so close. Wow, that explosion! All right, Slash, goodbye. All right, Flare Dragon. Three, Three two, one, two. Wow, not getting bursted though. That's the good news. Yeah, surviving for now. Ooh. All right, Lord Spriggan. Dude, Lord Spriggan's still gonna rack. I can feel it, man. Of course. Three, two, one. Go. Wow, my stamina, though. Those attacks were tough. Ooh, Ooh. tie. Wow. Three, two, two one. one. Ow. Get destroyed, old base. It's all about sparking now. Just kidding, guys. All right, guys, so that's basically it for our unboxing of Super Hyperion, our first release of Season 5, Beyblade vs. Sparking. My first impression is I like it a lot, and I'm really glad that it's a new system. And also, on top of that, we can still use like all the old drivers and some of the discs. So, uh, so it's like still compatible in a way. Backwards compatibility is always nice. Uh, Beyblade vs. Base are the best. All right, guys, so that's basically it. Uh, make sure you like the video, subscribe, and as always, Geeks out! out.